Keeping your gerbils entertained doesn't have to break the bank. There are a number of free and cheap ways to create some really enriching toys for your gerbils by using things that you may have lying around the house. Cardboard is your best friend when it comes to free toys. There are so many different things that you can make with it. And some toys don't need any making at all. Ask any gerbil owner what their gerbils' favourite toys are and most of them will probably say cardboard tubes. While gerbils may adore the tubes by themselves, there are a bunch of different ways you can make them even more enriching and interesting for them. Such as adding more tubes, filling with plain packing paper, or hay. You can also add a few treats, wrap them in paper, and turn them into crackers. Another thing you can make is present boxes by cutting slits in the end of a tube and folding the end to make a box. Then fill with shredded paper or hay and add some treats. Finally close up and add a bow by using a piece of shredded paper. Or you can turn a tube into a treat ball by cutting it into five equal sections, then arrange four of the sections like this and fill with some of their daily food mix and a few treats. This is now one of Timon and Pumbaa's favourite things, so I highly recommend you try it. Another thing that gerbils love chewing on is plain pieces of cardboard. Like cardboard tubes, there's also more we can do with this, as well as just letting the gerbs destroy it. If you get some smaller boxes without too much ink or dyes, they can make really great hides. Just make sure to remove any tape and give them a wipe down with an unscented baby wipe before using, and remove them if they start to chew on any inked parts to be safe. Another thing you can do with cardboard is make a hanging foraging toy like this one. First you'll need to draw and cut out some cardboard circles. I ended up using around 15 for mine, and I made them around 5cm in diameter so they weren't too big. Then you need to poke holes in the centre of all the circles. Next we'll need something to hang them. Regular string won't be safe if chewed because of the fibres it separates into. If you decide to use it, you'll need to keep an eye on it and remove it if your gerbils start to chew on it. What you can do instead is make your own string with plain paper by cutting a long length of paper and twisting it. Start gently and gradually tighten it a little at a time until it looks like this. Then we need to tie a knot in the end and thread the cardboard circles onto the string. Try to be gentle with this step or the string may break. Then you just need to poke some treats into the gaps in the cardboard and hang in your enclosure. Another idea is to make a cardboard maze or hide with flower glue, which is just plain flour with some water added to turn it into a gluey paste. You can then use this to make a maze or hide with cardboard. Mine turned out more like a multi-chamber hide rather than a maze, and I also used way more flower glue than I needed. I found it easier to work with after I let it sit for a while, so it was more like a paste and less liquidy. In hindsight, I probably should have practiced a bit more with flower glue before filming with it. But Timon and Pumba seemed to like it. They also liked climbing on it once I turned it upside down. Another thing you may have lying around the house that gerbils love to chew on are egg cartons. Just make sure you don't let them chew any parts with food stains or with ink. But as well as being good as plain chew toys, you can turn them into foraging boxes by removing any tape and adding some leaves or hay and a few treats. A problem I quickly noticed was that Timon and Pumba also really like climbing on the box, which could get one of them stuck in it, so I had to modify it by ripping off the front so it couldn't lock shut, and making a couple of holes in the corners so they could get in. They also very quickly got to work with shredding the box, so I had to remove the top where there was a couple of food spills and ink on the back. Or you could turn egg cartons into a gerbil safe foraging toy by cutting out four egg cups and poking holes in the centre. Then you can either use the paper string we made earlier, or for a tube proof version you can use a length of fence wire. First, give the wire a wipe down with an unscented baby wipe. Then make a loop in one end of the wire, making sure to tuck in the end so there's no sharp edges sticking out, and thread the egg cups onto the wire like this. Then make a loop in the top of the wire and hang in your topper. You can then add their daily food mix, along with a few treats initially to encourage them to use it.
Some more things that gerbils enjoy chewing that you may have lying around are other things made from paper pulp, such as drink holders or plant pots. Just make sure there's no inks or dyes. And you can also give them plain packaging paper, which you may get in online deliveries or as wrapping paper. Just make sure to remove any tape or tags. While pine wood may be unsafe to use, pine cones can make great chew toys. You can get them free if you go out in the autumn. It was the wrong time of year when I looked, so I had to buy some instead. Just make sure you're only picking up safer cones. Then soak them in hot water for 5 minutes to remove any dirt or bugs, and bake them in the oven at 150 degrees for 1 to 2 hours. Then let them cool before giving to your gerbils. For even more ideas for gerbil enrichment, check out this video where I show some of Timon and Pumba's favourite things that I bought for them on Amazon. And I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching.